Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. Can I get you to say Jesus three times? Jesus. Come on and give God another hand clap of praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, how many of you are glad to be in the house of the Lord? Tell your neighbor this. Say, neighbor. neighbor. I'd rather be in the house of the Lord, the of the Lord. Then, be then be in the best prison, in the, best prison. In, the world. in the world. Tell them, say, I'd rather be, I'd rather be in the house of the Lord, the of the Lord. Than, to than to be in the best hospital, in the, hospital in, the world. in the world. Because in the house, that's where my joy is. In the house, that's where my peace is. In the house, that's where my victory is. If you got victory right now, give God some Holy Ghost praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, praise His holy name. Now listen, can you give the praise team a big hand clap of praise? Can you give the band a big hand clap? Come on, you can do better than that. Let's give the band Now, can you give Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, come on and give him praise. Come on and give him praise. He's worthy of all our praise. He's worthy of all our praise. Glory to God. Praise his holy name. Now, this is what I would like for you to do. I would like for you to take about uh, two minutes. Somebody say two minutes. Take two minutes, go and greet somebody, give them a big hug, a big high five, and tell them, say, it's something about the name of Jesus. Come on, let's greet him, each other and welcome them all here. Something about the name.
Well, have you been blessed so far here? Isn't God good? God is good. And all the time, God is good. Praise his holy name. Listen, we want to welcome our television, our internet television viewing audience. We want to welcome each and every one of you that is tuning in today with us here in Lake Charles, Louisiana, here at Living Word Christian Center. Listen, we thank God for all our e-partners and all our e-members, our partners around the nation and around the globe. We are super excited to have you tuning in with us today. And listen, if you are a first-time viewer, we want you to go into the comment section and type in, I am a first-time viewer. And within 48 hours, someone will contact you just to let you know that we appreciate you tuning in with us on our live service today. So can we give our television and our internet viewing audience, come on, let's give them all a big hand clap of praise. Glory to God. We thank God that they're tuning in from all over the nation. Listen, we have Colorado tuning in. Can we give Colorado a big hand clap? Amen. California is tuning in. Let's give California, Texas, Alabama, Georgia. Let's give them all a big hand clap. Africa, West Africa. Thank God for all those that are tuning in all over the nation. And we are super excited to have you with our service today. Praise God. Now, do we have any first-time visitors? If this is your first time fellowshipping with us on a Sunday morning, I just want you to throw your hands in the air, and I want you to wave them like you do care. Come on, let's give all our first-time visitors. Listen, guys, keep waving, keep waving, because our ushers are going to be giving you a little, little hand, a little, little gift. Amen. We want to put a little gift. Just keep waving until you get your little surprise. Amen. We want to welcome each and every one of you here today uh, to Live and Work Christian Center. And we are super excited to have you with us. Listen, as we always say to all our first time visitors, welcome to your next level and make yourself at home. Amen. Can we give all our first time visitors a big hand clap? Praise God for each and every one of you. Now. Listen, listen, visitors, this is what I would like for you to do. Inside that little package that we just gave you there, there is an information card. We want you to fill out that information card, and when we give our tithes and offering, you can drop that information card in the tithes and offering basket. But listen, for all you tech-savvy guys that are in the house, first-time visitors, there's a code there on site your information card right on the top of there. You can scan that code with your phone and type in all the information. Don't forget to hit the submit button and it will go to our administrative office and we will contact you just to let you know that we appreciate you being with us today. So once again, can we give all our visitors, let's give them all a big hand clap of praise. Amen. We thank you all for being with us here. Today is our Family and Friends Day and we are excited about that. And listen, today lunch is on me. Amen. So you got a freebie today. Look at your neighbor and say, I got a freebie. I, so I picked the right place to get a freebie. Amen. It's not 50% off. It's not 10% off. It's not 80% off. It's 100% off. You get a freebie. So we thank God that we're able to bless you. We're able to serve you. And we welcome you all here to Live and Word Christian Center. Praise God. Well, listen, right now we do have a few announcements that we would like to share with you for this month. So for those of you that are watching online, check out your monitor. For those of you that are in the house, watch these announcements. Living Word Christian Center anointed announcements are as follows. For our members and visitors alike, you can visit us on the web at livingwordcc.org. While you're there, you can check out what's going on here at Living Word, and you can watch one of our past services. You can also sign up for our email newsletter, or click on the Facebook or YouTube link to follow us online. Intercessory Prayer meets in person here on Saturdays at 8 a.m. for one hour. The prayer line is also available during this time. Just dial 1-667-770-1113. Then when you are prompted, enter access code 199-192, followed by the pound sign. Man Up meets the second Sunday of each month. For more information, see Brother Jeffrey Jackson. 
we would like to invite you to join us for a special Easter service on Sunday, March 31st at 10 a.m. here at Living Word Christian Center. Join us for Friends and Family Day, March 24th, immediately after church in the Dream Center. Please sign up in the foyer. Living Word is looking for anyone interested in joining the security team. There's a sign-up sheet in the foyer. Living Word CC is looking for anyone interested in joining the youth ministry. Some tasks will include keeping track of attendance, assisting with games, serving food, refreshments, and assisting with teaching the Word of God. There's a sign-up sheet in the foyer. Save the date. LWCC Warrior Worshippers Praise Dance Ministry Bake Sale April 7th, 2024 If you would like to donate a baked item for the bake sale please see Sister Nashana Oquan Last but not least remember to tell someone about your Living Word Christian Center experience where we are living by the Word of God Amen Can you give the Lord a big hand clap for those wonderful announcements? Also, we do have one other announcement. Uh, there will be no intercessory prayer this Saturday, March the 30th uh, of this uh, 2024. Uh, we're going to give everyone off that Sunday so they can spend time with their family as they prepare for the Easter uh, Sunday. Amen? So no intercessory prayer on Saturday, March the 30th. So continue to pray for one another, and uh, we'll see you the following Saturday. Praise God. Well, can y'all give my lovely wife, Dr. Kathy Banks, can y'all give her a big hand clap of praise? Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm going to ask you to do something real quick for me. Get your phones out if you don't mind. And we just anoint you media missionaries and electronic evangelists today. Amen? So we want you to share the service with everyone. You can go to our Facebook page, Living Word Christian Center, Lake Charles. Living Word Christian Center, Lake Charles, and you can see our Facebook page. Like the page first, please. And you can also go to our YouTube page, which is the same. And we want to make sure that you share today with everyone because we're going to get a word today like never before. I believe that God's going to bless everyone in the house, and we're so glad to have you. So please share, share, share. Amen? Amen. Praise God. So go ahead and share. Get your phones out. This is going to be the only time you better to play on your phone. So go ahead and share, like, let someone know. Become a media missionary and an electronic evangelist. Amen? So go ahead and share. Now, this is also something that we do on All Our Family and Friends Day. Today is Selfie Sunday. So we want you to get your phones out. We want you to go and find somebody that you don't know and take a selfie with them. So everyone stand to your feet. Let's stand to your feet. Look, look, find your neighbor and say, neighbor, you came with me or maybe you didn't, but can I get a selfie with you? Come on, let's go. It's Selfie Sunday. Get, a, get, get someone. Find someone and take selfies with Selfie Sunday today. Amen. Sunday. Don't act like y'all don't take selfies in church. Y'all be on the phone the whole time. Come on, right here. Got one. Got one. Yes.
thank you for taking that selfie. You know why I tell you to take selfies? Listen, listen, do you know why we want you to take selfies Sundays and selfies? Because you're sitting by somebody that's famous. You, you better re- tell your neighbor, say, you better recognize. You better recognize who's sitting on the side of you. I'm somebody. I'm not just a anybody. I'm somebody. Matter of fact, let me tell you who I am. I am a child of the Most High God. Come on, let me tell you who I am. I'm saved and sanctified and full of the Holy Ghost. Let me tell you who I am. I'm blessed and... Tell your neighbor, say, God made me famous because he died for me. One day over 2,000 years ago. And if I'm, if he died for me, then I must be somebody. Touch your neighbor and say, you are somebody. You somebody. You somebody. Hallelujah. Don't have to wait till nobody famous come here. We got famous folks all over the place. Glory to God. You just got to recognize who you are in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Amen. Well, are you ready to bless the Lord with your tithes and your offering? Come on. How many know the Bible say God loves a cheerful giver? Amen. And if you're going to be giving your tithes and offering today, we do have uh, envelopes in the front seat, front pew right in front of you. There are some tithes and offering envelope, but the ushers are moving around. They will put a tithe and offering envelope in your hand if you need one as well. Also, for those of you that are tuning in online and you would like to give your tithes, offering, gifts, and surprises, whatever the Lord puts on your heart, we have four ways in which you can do so, and they're right there on the bottom of your monitor. Praise God. Well, if you're ready to go through your tithes and offering confession, I want you to put your hands together real good as Brother Jeffrey Jackson comes with our tithes and offering confession. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You excited this morning? Hallelujah. Let's look at the scripture for the month this morning, which is found in Psalms 35. Amen. And I'll be reading out the King James Version. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. The scripture reads, let them shout for joy. And be glad that favor my righteous cause. Let them say continually. Let the Lord be magnified, which has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Stand to your feet. Let's make our confession this morning. It's the will of God for you to live well. I'm going to say that again. It is God's will that you live well. Amen. Hallelujah. Not in lack, not in poverty, not being broke all your life. It's the will of God for you to live well. So we make our confession this morning. We're making our confession in line with what the scripture says. Amen. So repeat this after me. Shout increase. Increase. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Overflow. Overflow. Father, Father, you are are the God God of more than enough. enough. Therefore, Therefore, all my needs needs are met according to your riches riches in glory. I live live in overflow. I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed going out. I'm highly favored. Your uncommon and unmerited favor surrounds me like a shield. I live in the favor zone. My bills are paid on time. Debt's canceled and paid in full. I'm a lender. I'm a lender and not a borrower. I have the power to get wealth. The windows of heaven are open to me because I'm a tither. Satan will not rob in my finances. My mind is renewed. I'm a blessing magnet. I'm blessed to be a blessing. Wealth and riches are in my house. The enemy has been rebuked. For my sake, in Jesus' name, we believe that shout, amen.
ask everyone to stand this morning while we bless the tithes and offering this morning. All the millionaires and future millionaires, we want to ask everyone to stand this morning. All the blessed and highly favored God's people this morning, stretch your hands toward the tithes and offering this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you, Lord God, for blessing us indeed. We thank you, Lord God, that you will enlarge our territory. We thank you, Lord God, that you will increase us more and more. Me and my children, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for generational wealth over this house, Lord. We thank you for generational blessings over this house, Lord God. We just thank you for everyone, Lord God, that will live in divine wealth and divine health, Lord God. You said in your word in Psalms 35, 27, that it is your will that we live well, Lord God. And we just thank you, Lord God, that we will live well in every area of our lives. We just thank you, Father God. We praise you in advance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Before we get ready to get into the Word of God, uh, we want to recognize all our new members uh, that have joined. Let's give them all a big hand clap of praise. Over the last, this this actually is from uh, the month of, I think, February and uh, March, uh, the new members that have joined. And uh, we are so grateful for all the new members uh, that have been coming here and that are joining and uh, we want to honor you with your certificate. They have completed their new members class. And come on, let's give them all a big hand clap. And right now, I'm going to call up Sister uh, Paula Stevens. Let's give Sister Paula a big hand clap. She is our new members coordinator, and she has been doing an amazing job. Amen. She has been doing and, and her trusty assistant. Let's give her a big hand. She has been doing an amazing job uh, as our new members coordinator. And uh, I think this is our second, this is our second class this year, right? We started in January with a class, and in January we had 30, 30, 33 members that joined. Thir right, and a total of this time, I think, how many do we have this time? 62. Come on, give y'all ought to stand to your feet and give God some praise. So within the last three months, we have saw close to 100 people join Living Word Christian Center. Amen. And amen. So to God be the glory for what he is doing as he continues to expand our territory, enlarge our territory. And uh, we, we thank God for that. And uh, we believe in our, and we have believed and we are standing and we are right there that we are a congregation of a thousand members strong. Come on, y'all give God some praise for that. Amen. That's, that's in this city, right? In this city. Globally, around the globe, we have close to 3,000 members in many churches around Living Word Christian Center, Christian Center churches in other countries. So we thank God for that. So Sister Paula, super excited for you. Wonderful job. You better give me a big high five and give me a, come on. Is it okay if she give me a big hug? Hey, that's why I've been married for 35 years, man. I Good morning, everyone. First, giving all honor, glory, and praise to my almighty Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life, Bishop Banks and Dr. Kathy, visiting friends, and the best LWCC family on this side of heaven. <laughs> Amen. On behalf of the new member Spiritual Foundation Ministry, I would like to take this time to recognize all new members that have participated and completed all the necessary requirements of the orientation process. 
I also would like to take this time to thank all of my graduates for their commitment to the ministry and cooperation throughout the entire process. And we thank God for the overflow, and I see some of my graduates are up in the balcony, so if you could make your way down to the first floor, we'd appreciate it. Thank you. So without further delay, we will begin honoring our graduates. As I call your name, please come forward to receive your certificate of achievement. Our first recipient is Amber Captain. Next, we have Zoe Johnson. Xavier Johnson. And Cameron Matwire. Okay, Amber's going to receive all the certificates for her family. Our next reciprocate is Brother Timothy Sanders. Y'all, Brother Sanders is dressed to impress this morning, huh? <laughs> Next recipients are a mother and daughter duo, Lakeisha Winters and Callie Roberts. Next, we have Sister Marcella Salye. Sister Christy Lynette. And this recipient, I want y'all to know that she is a resident of Baton Rouge, Louisiana. But she makes herself faithfully here at Living Word Christian Center. Next, we have a four-family duo, Kendra Maris, Casey Ann Maris, Kyra Geis, and Avalo Charles. Next, we have Sister Monique Morgan.
Next, we have Sister Cherry Rizzo. Next, we have a trio family, Jesse January, Caitlin January, and Adontis January. Praise God. Next, we have Sister Mecca Watley. And on her behalf, Sister Michelle Hawthorne will be accepting her certificate. Next, we have another four family duo. We have Sister Jasmine Wilkins. Araya Broussard, Zariah Broussard, and Sydney Champagne. I don't know if they were in the balcony. Okay, okay we're going to move right on along. Our next family, we have Sister Chantille Million. Sister Layla Collins and Sister Malaya Daniel. Next, we have Sister Haley Reed. And on her behalf, we have Sister Eloina Woods to accept her certificate. She is at Southern University. She's a student there, but she's faithful with her services here at Living Word Christian Center. Next, we have Brother Charles Jones. We got Sister Eloina Woods is back again. On behalf of her son-in-law, Charles Jones, she'll receive his certificate. I tell you, the Woods family is very much so representing here this morning. And last but not least, we have Brother Patrick Duhorn. Sister Desiree Robertson and Sister Dior Robertson. All of my graduates, they were faithful students, but I tell you, she pressed her way every Sunday to come, whether it was good weather, bad weather, cold weather. She was right here with her group. Thank God for that.
And before I close out our graduation ceremony, I would like to give a big thank you to Sister Dot Hall. She has been so instrumental in helping me with getting everything together, and I just want her to know how much I appreciate her services. Okay. And at this time, I would like to present to all of you our March 2024 new member Spiritual Foundation graduates of LWC. All right. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yeah, keep bringing it down. Come on, let's give Sister Paula a big hand clap of praise. She's done a wonderful, wonderful job in such a very short time. Amen? And we are so excited that she is taking care of that assignment and on that on the mission of making things happen. Amen? How many of you know teamwork makes the dream work? I declare that the days of the do it by itself pastors are over. Amen. You can't do it by yourself. Amen. You need a team. You need to have a good team. Amen. To fulfill the call that God has called us to. You know, and that goes all the way back to the times of Jesus Christ. You know, when Jesus got ready to start his public ministry over 2,000 years ago, Notice Jesus did not start ministry by himself. The first thing that he did before he started his public ministry is he went and found 12. To help him and to assist him so he can teach and train them. And then when he would leave this earth, the 12 would carry out the mandate. So I declare to you today that everyone in here has a mandate that you should be carrying it out. It's not just the pastor and, and, and the apostles and the fivefold ministry uh, that can only do the work of the ministry. I declare you have a part to play in this end time harvest in Jesus name. Can somebody shout amen to that? Amen. So you do need to have a team. And when things go well, everybody get celebrated. Amen. And God gets all the, the glory. And guess what you get to do? You get to tell the story. Say that with me. Say, God gets the glory. And I just tell the story. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, are you ready to get into the Word of God today? Have you been blessed so far? Amen. Well, let's get ready to get into the Word of God. Now, if you need a Bible, uh, I'm going to ask that you hold your hand up in the air. The ushers will be moving around. They will put a Bible in your hand. If you need a Bible, hold that hand up in the air. We'll put a Bible in your hand. Uh, if you have your phone, whatever device that you study the Word of God on, we're going to ask that you go to that and pull up your Bible right here in the very front. We need someone with a Bible right here. And once you get your Bible up in, 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 in your hand, I'm going to ask that you stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet. And I'm going to ask that you hold your Bibles up high in the air. And I'm going to ask that you wave it around a little bit like you do care. And I'm going to ask that you repeat this after me. Say, this is my Bible. I can have what it says I can have. I can do what it says I can do. I am what it says I am. Right now. I'm about to receive the incorruptible word of God. My mind is receptive. My heart is prepared. I will never be the same. Never, 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 never. Be the same in Jesus' name. If you believe that, shout amen. Shout glory to God. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Praise his holy name. How I many you know God is worthy to be praised? From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. He's worthy to be praised. Glory. I want you to get your Bibles, if uh, those that have them, I want you to go with me to the book of Matthews. I want you to go to Matthews chapter 16 and go to verse number 18. Matthew chapter 16, verse number 
18. When you get there, say, I got it. Amen. Now, if you're having a problem finding it, number one, I would think that you would go to the table of content. It'll help you really, really fast. And if you're having a problem with that, we're going to put all the scriptures on the screen for you. So you can watch on the monitors or the big screen. Amen. Matthew chapter 16, verse number. I'm going to read at number 17. Matthew 16, verse number 17. It says, and Jesus answered and said unto them. Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood had not revealed it unto you. But my father, which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, thou art not Peter, or thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, underline that, my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Let's read verse 19. It says, and I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. As you know, we have been in a series the last several months. Uh, we have been teaching you a series of benefits of being in the right house. Benefits of being in the right house house. And for the last several weeks, we have been sharing that with you. Uh, today, we're going to continue with that series because this is going to be one of the most important uh, teachings that you will probably hear in a long time. This will cause you to really get plugged in, to find that, perf that perfect place where God wants you to be. Today, I want to share with you congregational favor. Amen. Look at somebody and say congregational favor benefits of being in the right house or we'll use it the right church house amen and so we find that as we've been sharing over the last several weeks there are many many benefits of being connected to the right house amen you must be connected look at someone and say you got to get connected you you got to get connected because there are so many benefits of being connected to the right house. Now, you have to be able to discern what is the right house and also to discern what's not the right house for you. Now, we do know that there are, as we said over and over, there are good churches and there are, there are good doctors, there are good lawyers, and bad lawyers, there are good teachers, and bad teachers, there are good principles, and bad principles. So there is a good to everything, but there is a bad to everything. There are good churches, and there are good bad churches. There are good pastors. You mean to tell me there's some bad pastors? The devil don't care who he mess with, Amen. And if you don't get connected to the right house and to the right man of God, the very thing that might be happening in their lives then end up happening in your life. Just might say, I got to get connected to the right house. I got to be connected to the right house. I got to, listen, I got to have the, the right man of God over my life. I, I, I just can't have any man over my, women, you better shout amen. But see, I, some of you ladies, you have settled for just any man. Now, uh -huh, y'all know what I'm talking about. There are good men and there are some, but you can't be so desperate that you settle for the bad. Amen. Some of us give more time investigating a daycare and finding out what the daycare is all about than what we would do when it comes to the local church. Say amen to that. 
one, I'm going to ask questions. I'm going to find out about the daycare. I'm going online. I'm going to see what the ratings are. I'm going to see what people are saying about the daycare. Is it a good daycare? Is it a bad daycare? I'm going to find out everything. Why? Because I'm going to send my most precious prize to that daycare. So I need to make sure that it is the right the right daycare and that's all good but your soul is more important than where you send your child uh, yeah some of you you just go anywhere you just fall anywhere you don't do no research you don't check it out you don't see if there's character there you don't see if there's good integrity there all you know is they got a good choir they got a good cry he can preach he can hoop he can holler i don't care how good he can preach you gotta make sure he living right i don't care how good the choir is because you can have a jacked up choir See, you need to take time to discern if that's the right house for me. And then I must take time and ask God, where do you want me to be planted? Because remember, there are benefits, watch this, when you are connected to not just any house, but to the right house. Some of us are not seeing the benefits of being church members is because we're not connected to the right house. So you got to get, tell somebody, say, get connected to the right house. Seek, seek God. Let the Lord lead you. Don't let nobody lead you to a church just because they go there. If it's not for you, then bless God, don't you connect. Just because mama went to the church, just because big mama went to the church, it might not be for you to be in there. You got to find the right church at the right place and the right time so you can receive the benefits for you and your family. Say amen to that. He says, upon that revelation that Jesus Christ is Lord, he said, I will build my church. Jesus is speaking here. He says, I will build my church. I want you to get this. The church is not man's church. That's why you never worship no man. That's why if a man messed up, it's not going to affect you because my focus and my attention wasn't on no man. My focus and attention was on him. And I read in the word that he'll never leave me. He'll never forsake me. He'll never mess up. He'll never do anything wrong. He says the church is my church. And he says, I will set shepherds in my church. And the shepherds will be after my heart. Amen. So you need to check your shepherd. Say amen to that. Benefits of being in the right church. I need to check my shepherd. I need to find out what he about. This, let me help you. This is how you check your shepherd. I'm just going to give you a little snippet of how you can check a, a pastor to see if he got it going on right in his life. The way you can tell if a pastor is doing the right thing and living right is check out his wife. Whenever you go, if you're looking for a church, trying to find the right house, don't, don't be, because the pastor can be charismatic, he can be electric, he can be all that, but, but guess what? He got to live with his wife. And if his wife's sitting over there while he's being charisma and charismatic and she's sitting there like. <laughs> Check her out. She's going to let you know how it's really going on. She's going to let you know what he's living at home. See, you can be one thing up here, but you can be a whole other thing in your, at your house. If she's sitting there like, like she ain't receiving nothing from him, it's because he ain't giving her nothing at home. Y'all ain't going to shout amen. But if she all excited, Hercules, Hercules. Yeah, baby. It's all good. It's all good. Amen. Isn't that right? 
Hey, man, you check her out. Check her and, 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 and check the children out. See, you got to search those things. You got to see if there's happiness there. You got to see if there's joy there. You got to make sure that there is peace there. You got to make sure the word of God is being taught there. You got to make sure that there is integrity there. You got to make sure that there is good character there. You got to make sure that there is good leadership there. See, there are benefits when you connect with the right house. And I declare that whatever is on this house is going to start flowing in your house. Touch somebody and say, we're a blessed house. We're a blessed house. If I'm in a house that's blessed, then bless God, my house going to be blessed. If I'm in a house that's prospering, then bless God, my house ought to prosper. If I'm in a house where everybody's healed, then bless God, I receive my healing. There are benefits. Tell somebody, say, there are benefits. Benefits. So there are benefits, and some of the benefits are you develop good relationships. You develop good relationships. You have accountability. That's what a good house does. It makes you accountable. Amen. It, it's for a good house. You will get personal and spiritual development. In other words, you're going to grow. Spiritual growth. Amen. And, and, and you're, if you're in the right house and you've been there for a protracted period of time, you ought to see yourself developing than when you first came. Amen. If, if, if you're still in the fifth grade and you've been going to the fifth grade three years, something wrong. Come on, something wrong. You, you, you're not getting taught right. You're not. Come on, y'all hear what I'm saying? You, you, you got to get promoted. You should be increasing. You should be getting promoted. You should be spiritually maturing. You ought to be growing in the things of God. You ought to start seeing things differently. You ought to have a different mindset. The Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind ought to be transforming and developing spiritually. See, those are some of the benefits spiritually uh, that when you're in the right house, you get connected. Things start changing in your life. Did you know that you can be in the right church and you can come in a sinner and end up being a saint? Come on, say amen to that. If you stick with it long enough, because it's going to change. It's going to be a change from the inside out. Amen. That, that's why, if y'all know me, that's why I love dealing with roughnecks. I love dealing, come on, I ain't saying man to that. Now, now, I thank God, I thank God for the corporate people, I thank God for all the good people that we look good, but I like them hardcore jokers. I, I like them jokers got a pass. Yeah, I like them ones been through some stuff. I, I, I like ex-cons and I like ex-drug dealers and, and ex-drug addicts, ex-alcoholics. I like people been through some things because when they sit under this word, it's just a matter of time before you start seeing them set free and delivered and living a different life than when they came in. Tell somebody, say, that's the advantage of being in the right house. See, because when you're in the right house, you can't stay in sin long. Yeah, baby. Come on, say amen to that. Some going to change. Some going to change. You can't stay in mess long. You can't stay in that stuff long because the anointing of the house begins to get on you and things begin to change in your life. Amen. But if you want to stay the same, you find you a church that won't hold you accountable. Say amen to that. You find you a church that as long as you show up, give your tithes and offering, you can still shack, you can still live any kind of way, you can still get high, you can still drunk. Y'all better say amen to that. But, but see, I'm the type I'm going to say, how you living? How you living, brother? Everything getting better? It's getting better? Amen. Because see, I care more about your soul than your dollar bill. Benefits of being in the right house. They care for. The Bible said that a good pastor watches over your, your soul. My sole purpose and job is to make sure that you not only live an abundant life in this earth, but that you enter into heaven for eternal living. Amen. Touch somebody and say you need to be in the right house. Amen. You need to be in the right house. Amen. Why? Because church membership have its privileges. 
Did you know that church membership have its privileges? It is a privilege to be connected to the right house. It's an honor to be able to connect to the right house. Watch this. It's an honor to be able to serve in the right house. It's an honor to be able to flow in the right house. Because, see, once you're connected to the right house, you start receiving supernatural favor that you won't receive if you're in the wrong house. And it is called congregational favor. How many ever heard that word before? Congregational favor. You heard favor, but there is an, a, there's a, a, a favor that is released over the congregation when you are connected to the right congregation. Did y'all know that? Amen. There's a supernatural connection. That's why it's so important. It, it has benefits. Any organization that you connect with normally have benefits. That's why people connect with organizations or, or whatever or connect with even jobs because they might say, what are the benefits? What do I get for serving? What happens when I serve? What are some of the rewards that I get? What, watch this. what are some of the perks that I get? When I serve or when I work at this job, it's the same way in the body of Christ. See, God is not going to allow you to do something without rewarding you. God is not going to allow you to do something and not give you no benefits and no perks. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now, watch this. The benefits that you receive when you're connected to the right house is not when you get to heaven. See, some of us are waiting until we get to heaven to get some benefits and some perks. See, when you're connected in the right house, you start getting benefits right now. Touch your neighbor and say, membership have privileges. Amen. So you start getting the breakthroughs that you need right now. You start seeing miracles happen that you need to happen right now. You start seeing overflow and increase. So it's happening right now. Why? It's because not that because it's what I'm connected to. You cannot get benefits if you're not connected. Is that okay? See, see, I can't get benefits from a job that I don't work at. Amen. Y'all see that? But if I'm connected to somebody that works there, then I'm entitled to the same benefits that they get without me working there. It's based on my connection. It's the same way in the body of Christ. Once you connect, then you begin to get benefits. Benefits belongs to the body of Christ. Go to Psalms 103. I'm going to show you just a few benefits. See, this is, this is so important. So whenever you start teaching, we start teaching these things. As people are saying there's a falling away from the church, people don't want to go to church. Listen, stop listening to all that stuff that people are saying online and Internet and all these type of things. See, what the devil do, he'll use those voices. And he'll use them to spread wrong information. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it becomes misinformative. And you begin to believe some of that stuff. And you begin to miss out on benefits. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. God created his church so we can all come together as a congregation. Yeah. That's why he had the tabernacles. He, his, he says, I want to have tabernacles because that's where I will do well. The word tabernacle means dwelling place. He says, not only is it a place for gathering for my people, but it is also a place where I will dwell amongst my people. Y'all better say amen right there. See, when you come into the house of the Lord, the presence of the Lord ought to be in this place. You ought to feel the anointing. You ought to feel the power of God. Something ought to be shifting in your life right now. Because it is a place where God meets us. Psalms 103. Let's look at this. Congregational favor. Somebody shout congregational favor. Psalms 103. I'm going to read to verse number 5 or 6. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not, underline that word all. Does your Bible say all? Or does it say a couple? Or a few? 
it says all his benefits. Number one, who forgiveth all my iniquities. Somebody shout, that's a benefit. Who healeth all my diseases. Somebody shout, that's a benefit. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. That's a benefit. Watch this. Who crowned me with loving kindness and tender mercy. Somebody shout, that's a benefit. Who satisfied my mouth with who satisfied my mouth with so that my youth is renewed like an eagle. The Lord executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Amen. To myself, that's a benefit. But I want you to know that one of the benefits of being in the right church is you are entitled to have good things. Say amen to that. You are entitled to be healed. Now, what if I'm in a church and I'm sick and they don't believe in healing? How I many you know there are some churches that don't believe that you can be healed? Say amen to that. So you'll sit in that church and die before your time. Because you are not tapped. There is no, that they are not offering you a benefit that you are really entitled to. So I'm here to tell you, you hang around here long enough. If you get sick, you're going to be healed in the name of Jesus. Sickness and disease can't hang around here. Can somebody say amen? amen. Why? Because we teach on healing. We teach on being walking in divine health. We teach on walking in divine healing. It's a benefit that belongs to the believers. Amen. He said, I forgive all your iniquities. In other words, there is now, therefore, no condemnation to them who are in. See, if you've never heard that and have not been taught that because you're in the wrong house, you might make a mistake in sin and the sin will eat you up. Because you don't understand, you have not been taught that there is now, right now, no condemnation. To them that are in Christ Jesus. So when I make a mistake, when I fall into sin, or if I sin, the first thing I need to know how to do is repent and ask the Lord to forgive me of that sin. The Bible says, for all have, all have sin. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm not a sinner, I'm not a sinner. For all have sin. And came short of the glory. Amen. See, why have I have, and he uses that word have as past tense. Because as soon as I ask the Lord to forgive me. I'm no longer a sinner. As soon as I ask him to forgive me, you know what he does? He forgives me of all of my iniquities. And watch what he does. He casts him into the sea of forgetfulness. Amen. It's oh, tell somebody say it's over. He he forgets about it. Amen. Now here's what the devil do, and this is why you got to be taught. Because even though God has forgiven you, sometimes the devil will put condemnation on you, and you don't want to forgive yourself. And then what the devil does? Secondly, he will get people close to you to constantly keep bringing up what you did. See, see, you, you know you were right. You did that. You did that. Yeah, you did that last week. You think you all that. The devil is a lie and his grandma too. I've got to understand that once I ask God to forgive me, it is over. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you lie on me. You talk about me. It's over in Jesus' name. And I am free and I forgive my Touch your neighbor and say, you got to forgive yourself. You got to forgive yourself. Yeah, let, let it go. Let it go. God done great. God done push that thing away. It's over with. You start walking in the newness of life. You're no longer a sinner anymore. You now are a saint in the eyes of God. So you can walk with your chest out and your head held high. And you don't have to be ashamed or embarrassed about anything because it is over. It's over. Tell somebody say now, just get over it, get over it, get over it, get over it. Amen. See, you have to be taught this. That's a benefit. I'm free. 
from condemnation. I repent. Now that don't mean I go back to it again. Amen. I can't go back. I've turned from that thing. God that already washed me from that. He cleansed me. He made me whiter than snow. The stain and guilt is gone. Amen. It's no longer there. As far as the east is from the west, it's over with. It's done in Jesus' name. So I am now being restored back into right standing with God. Look at somebody and say, call me righteous. Call me right. Yeah, yeah. Tell them, say, I know you're thinking about what I used to be. Yeah, you know I used to be that, but I'm an ex one of them. I'm now the righteousness of Christ Jesus. Call me righteous. That's who I am. I'm righteous. Amen. So these are some for benefits. He redeemed our life from destruction. Crowned me with loving kindness and tender mercy. Now go with me and watch this to Exodus. I'm going to wrap it up because I know you got food on your mind. And your mind on food. Go to Exodus 11. I'm going to show you some of the benefits of being in congregational favor. Exodus chapter 11. Uh, let's go to verse number. I'm going to go to verse number three. Congregational favor. It is when the favor uh, you receive, when you connect, join, participate, attend, or defend your church. I'm going to say that. I'm going to give it to you again. Congregational favor comes when you receive or when you connect with, join, participate, attend, or defend your church. Let me tell you something. I'm gangsta and ghetto. You ain't going to talk about my church. Yeah, yeah, you got high five. Yeah, you ain't going to talk about my woman either. And we'll talk about my girl. I don't know, it's going. Tell me, I say it's going down. It, see, see, you you're not going you're not going to mess up my favor. The Bible say when a man findeth a wife, he findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor from the Lord. You ain't going you ain't going to mess up my favor. You ain't going to mess with my favor. Amen. You ain't going to allow my favor. You ain't going to talk about my favor. Amen. And the same thing when I connect with the right church. I'm not going to let you talk about my church because you're talking about my favor. That's why the Bible declares that the church is like a bride connected to the husband. So you don't let nobody talk about your church. Girl, I heard. I heard. Yeah, that's right. You heard. But let me give you the facts. And as a, being a part of the right church, you don't talk about nobody else's church. Y'all better say amen to that. Amen. See, we want to have favor on our lives. And so we, we defend our church. We, we attend our church. We, we connect with our church because there are benefits when we're connected together like that. Now, look at Exodus chapter 11. I'm going to show you how the children of Israel were connected to God and they were a part of a congregation. This is what began to happen. Let's go to Exodus chapter 11, verse number 3, real quickly. It says, and the Lord gave the people what? There it is right there. He gave them what? The children of Israel, over 2 million of them. He gave them what? It's called congregational favor. And the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. I'm here to tell you that, underline that, the Lord will give you favor in the sight of your enemies. That's what he's saying right here. I will give you favor in the sight of your enemies, and your enemies got to watch you as you prosper. I will give you favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servant, and in the sight of the what? And the sight of the people. God raised Moses up as their leader. And the people connected to Moses and the same favor that was on Moses. God says, I'm giving it to the, the people. Are y'all seeing this? When you're looking to find the right church, you better make sure that there is favor on that man of God that you connect with. Because the same favor that is on the head, it will go down to everyone that's connected to them. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? You need to connect with people that have the favor of God on their life. There is a blessing that will be attached to you and your family when you are connected to the lighthouse. That's all I'm saying right there. Amen. There is a blessing that will be attached to you when you connect with the right house. That's why when you get connected to the right house, things start turning around in your life. You ever had that happen? Been in a place 20 years and when nothing manifesting, nothing changing. And then all of a sudden you were led by the Holy Ghost to get connected to the right house. And within six months, things started to... And your old church members be like, girl, what? Well, how are you getting blessed like that? What's going on? And uh, you, you need to come. I ain't going back there because that ain't where my favor at. I done messed around and found my favor. So now things are working out in my favor. It's all about being connected. Congregational favor. So that's what was happening to the children of Israel. They were experiencing the favor of God. They had so much favor that when Pharaoh wouldn't even let them go, when they would go back to their home in Goshen, the plagues would affect Egypt. But guess what? It didn't happen in Goshen. Why? Because God blocked it with his favor. He said, I'm going to protect my children. Amen. I got a plan for them. I favor them. I favor them highly. So I will protect them from all the plagues that are being released. So they shout favor, favor. Now go to Joshua 24. Joshua 24. Got to go kind of fast for you. Go to Joshua 24. Verse number 13. 24 and 13, it reads, and I have given you a land for which you did not. Y'all better shout right there. Now, now, notice he says, God said, I have given you the people a land. He was leading. Joshua was their leader. Moses was gone now, but Joshua now is the leader. Watch this. Whenever there is congregational favor, watch this. The same anointing that was on Moses because Joshua was connected to Moses' congregation, the very thing that Moses did when Moses left, guess who started to do it? Joshua. The same anointing, the same favor came on Joshua. And look what he says here. I have given you a land for which you did not labor. Somebody shout, it sound like favor. I say, it sound like favor. I pronounce over your life today, those who are listening, those that are watching online, I declare that favor will hit your life and you will not have to labor anymore. Your days of laboring is over. Your days of toiling is over. It is time for the favor of God to hit your life and people are going to start blessing you that never wanted to bless you. Somebody shout, I receive that. Let me make it a little simple. An ounce of labor, an ounce of favor will save you years of labor. Yeah, tweet that one. Tweet that. That's why you need to have favor on your life. Some of you, you don't have to work hard. You just need favor. You just need to get connected to the right people. Oh, y'all ain't going to shout amen. You just need to get connected. See, when you connect with the right people, sometimes doors will open that you couldn't open. It's who you know that will help you get through some doors. I have given you a land. For which you did not labor and cities, which you built not. And you will what? Dwell in them. And vineyards and olive yards, which you, you didn't even plant. He said, I'm about to do these things in your life. Look what he says. Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood in Egypt and serve ye what? To my say, serve the, serve the Lord. Amen. When you begin to serve the Lord, you got to be connected to the right people. 
You got to be connected to the right house. Amen. How many know you can go in the wrong house and can't even serve God? Have you ever been in a church where you just couldn't eat? I just, man, I just can't get, I can't, I can't get it. It seemed like I'm in a mark. There's no power, no anointing. There, there's nothing manifesting. I don't see anything. There's no joy. There's no excitement. There's no happiness. Everybody look like they just sucking on sour lemons in church. Nobody lifting holy hands. Nobody shouting. Nobody dancing. Hey, y'all, y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm trying to tell you, you need to get in a church where there is power. You need to get in a church when you come in. I'm expecting something to manifest. I need to be in a house that when I leave, I know I've been changed. I came expecting a change. I came expecting something to manifest. See, that's what it's all about, finding a place where the presence of the Lord is. And wherever the presence of the Lord is, there is the fullness of joy. That's where your peace is. Amen. So we got to make sure that we find it. God wants to show his church favor. And he wants to show his body favor. And I'm telling you that you can receive favor now. Not when you get to heaven. Somebody said, I need favor right now. I need it now. I need my breakthrough now. I need my healing now. I need my sins forgiven now. I need my prosperity now. I need my children well now. See, I need it right now. Somebody shout, God, do me a favor. Bless my house beyond measure. Give God some praise if you receive that. He want to show you some favor. He want to show you some favor. Amen. Declare it. Favor coming to my house. Hallelujah. Now be seated real quickly. As we enter into this, this time, this season of congregational favor, I want you to get this. Congregational favor. It's happening. Jobs that you once couldn't qualify for. When you got the favor of God, your qualifications don't matter. When you got congregational favor on you, you'll get jobs without a degree. Some of you, you don't need a PhD academically. Some of you got enough PhDs right now on your life. Pain, hurt, and distress. Do I got anybody with a PhD? Done been through some pain. Done been through some hurt. Done been through some disappointment. Been through some distress. I come to tell you you're qualified for God to open up a door. You're qualified. You're qualified. And God wants to show you some favor. Now, there's going to be a thing that we're about to tap into. It is called the Zion blessing. The Zion blessing. Zion represents the house of God. Amen. In, in, in Israel, the, the uh, Mount Zion surrounds the city. It is like a fortress. Keeps everything safe and secure. That's going on there. So we see that there's going to be a blessing where God is going to keep you safe and secure. As long as you stay in his presence. And, and there's a Zion blessing that I believe is coming on the house of God today. Go with me real quickly to Psalms 132. I'm going to show it to you. Psalms 132. Psalms 132. We're going to look at verses 13. It says, for the Lord had chosen who? Zion. That's us. And he had desired it for his. Do you know what habitation means? That's where he want to hang out at. That's his dwelling place. That's where he wants to where? Dwell. How many know wherever the Lord dwells, that's where his favor going to be. He says, for the Lord had chosen Zion, the ecclesia, the called out ones. He had desired it for his habitation. This is my rest forever. Here 
will I dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly, I will abundantly bless her provisions. I will satisfy her poor with, in other words, he says, I'll meet every one of your needs. He says, I will abundantly bless Zion. I declare that we're in the season, if you connect it to the right house, where God is going to abundantly bless us. Come on, are you ready to be blessed like that? Can you stand to be abundantly blessed? Come on, can you stand to win in every situation? Can you stand to have overflow hit your life? Can you stand to be breakthroughs happening in your life? He says, I want to overflow you with my blessing. Look what he says here. He says, I will abundantly bless her provision and I will satisfy her poor with bread. Somebody shall satisfy me, God. Satisfy now, look at Psalms 134 and verses 1 through 3. Somebody shout congregational blessing. Psalms 134, 1 through 3. Behold, bless ye the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, which by night stand in the, in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the, where you at right now? Where you at right now? Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. See, you want the Lord to bless you. But now he is saying, if you want me to bless you, I need you to bless me. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and begin to bless the Lord. He says, the Lord that made heavens and earth, made the heavens and earth bless thee out of Zion. God wants to bless Zion. The Zion blessing I pronounce over your life today. You're going to be blessed when you come in. You're going to be blessed when you go out. Everywhere you go, the blessing is going to be on you. The favor of God is going to hit your life. God is going to help you in trouble. God is going to protect you. God is going to fight your battles. God is going to defend you. God is going to show you some favor. In the name of Jesus, stretch your hands towards heaven and bless him. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Come on, open up your mouth and bless him in here. Open up your mouth and bless him in here. Hallelujah. Come on, can you bless the Lord? He's going to show you favor. He's going to release his favor over your life. He's releasing favor over your life. I declare favor, favor, favor. Favor for your next level. Favor for your breakthroughs. Favor for generation. Generational favor over your life. In Jesus' name. Can you give the Lord a big shout right there? Hallelujah. Now, immediate department, can you pull up this declaration? I want everybody to declare this. Congregational favor. It manifests when you're in the right house and connected to the right, the right place. You are entitled to get that favor. Amen. Now, I want you, everybody, to recite this with me. I need the media department to keep it moving fast. I need everybody to say this. And we're going to all read it together. I want you to read it like you're expecting it to manifest. I want you to read it like you're already expecting it to happen. Because it belongs to you. Let's read it together. In the name of Jesus, I am the righteousness of God. Therefore, I am entitled to covenant kindness and covenant favor. The favor of God is among us, the righteous. The favor of God surrounds the righteous. Therefore, it surrounds me everywhere I go and in everything I do. I expect the favor of God to be in full manifestation in my life. Never again will I be without the favor of God. It rests richly upon me. It profusely abounds in me. 
I am a part of the generation that is experiencing God's favor immeasurably, unlimitedly, and super surpassing. Therefore, favor produces supernatural increase, promotions, restoration, honor, increase, access greater than victory, recognition, prominence, preferential treatment, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, and battles won in which I do not have to fight. Yeah, baby, come on, I got more, I got more. Let's go, one, two, three. The favor of God is on me and goes before me. Therefore, my life will never be the same. This is the time of God's favor in my life. That's the favor of God. In Jesus' name, shout amen. Come on, give him praise if you receive that. Come on, give him praise if you receive that. Stop your neighbor and say, that's for us, neighbor. That's for us. That's mine. That's mine. It belongs to me. I receive it in the name of Jesus. I say, I receive it in the name of Jesus. I declare that everyone under my voice, whether you're watching online, I speak the blessing of congregational favor over your life in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many receive that today? How many receive that today? It's a benefit of being connected to the right house in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory, 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 glory. Amen. Amen. Now I need every head bowed. Every head bowed. Every head bowed all over this room. Every eye closed. I'm going to make a couple of altar calls real quick. Hallelujah. And if you answer to any one of these altar calls, I need you quickly to just shoot that hand up. If you're watching online and you make, if you want to answer to any one of those altar calls, I just need you to type in that comment section what it is that you're answering to. Now, I want you to believe, I want you to understand that many people are being saved right now and will be saved globally in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every head bowed, every head bowed, every eye closed, no one looking around. In the mighty name of Jesus, the first altar call I want to make, if you are here and you have never, ever accepted Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, you're simply here and you're lost. You know that you are a sinner. And you know that if you would leave this earth today, you know that you would not inherit eternal life with Jesus Christ. Well, today I got good news for you. You don't have to leave this earth and spend eternal life in hell. You can make a decision today and immediately you can have your name written in the Lamb's book of life. So if you're here today and you would like to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, with every head bowed, every eye closed, I quickly need you now to shoot that hand up. If there's one that says, I want to be saved, today is my day of salvation. Just quickly shoot that hand up wherever you are. Also, if you're watching online and you have made a decision to give your life to Jesus Christ, go ahead right now and type, I would like to be saved and born again. Secondly, maybe you have been born again, but you left God. Right now, you might be in what we call a backslidden condition. You left God. God did not leave you. But today, you can make a decision to come back home. God is standing with his arms open wide. And he is waiting on you. He is simply saying, come back home, my prodigal son. I am waiting for you. I will restore you back into right standing. I will restore you back into righteousness with me. If you're here today and you would like to rededicate and recommit your life back to Jesus Christ with every head bowed, every eye closed. 
I need you now to quickly shoot that hand up wherever you are. I see those hands in the balcony. I see that hand right there. Wherever you are, just lift it because I will not leave the same way I came in Jesus Christ's name. I need Jesus. I need to be delivered. I need to be set free. Am I talking to somebody? Don't you leave here because tomorrow is not promised to you. I see those hands quickly, quickly. If you're watching online, go ahead and type in the comment section. I would like to rededicate my life back to Jesus Christ. Amen. Thirdly and lastly, if you have been trying to find the perfect church, let me be the first to let you know that there is no perfect church. But if you're looking for a church that you can connect with, where you can be taught the word of God with simplicity and understanding, where you can immediately begin to apply it to your life. If you believe the Holy Spirit is leading you to connect with us here at Living Word Christian Center, with every head bowed, every eye closed, I need you now to quickly shoot that hand up in the air. I see those hands right there. I see that hand right there. I see those hands quickly wherever it is. I see those hands in the back. I see those hands just quickly. It's so important that I see those hands in the balcony. It's so important that I connect. My life is dependent on me being connected to the right house. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen, every head bowed, no one looking around. Listen, if you want to connect with us online, you would like to be an e-member or e-partner. You believe the Lord is leading you to connect with us here at Living Word Christian Center. Go ahead and type in the comment section, I would like to connect with LWCC. There might be some that just simply says, I want to reconnect. I was there and then I, I got out of position, but I want to reconnect. Just type in, I would like to reconnect as well. Now, this is what I need everyone to do. If you raise up your hands for any one of those altar calls, I need you quickly, wherever you're located in this building, to grab your purse, your handbag, your Bible, quickly, move quickly, and join me right here at the foot of the altar. Come on, let's give them all a big hand clap of praise. Come on, if you wave that hand, come on, ask your neighbor, say, neighbor, let me out. I got to get to the altar. I got to get connected in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's give the Lord a big hand clap of praise. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, clap, clap. Come on, clap. Maybe you did not raise that hand, but I need you to come down quickly. If you clap, they'll come. If you clap, they'll come. People are making decisions all over the nation right now. Someone online is getting saved. Someone is rededicating their life back to Jesus Christ. Somebody in the world right now is getting connected to Living Word Christian Center. Glory. Come on, let the church say amen. It's so important that you get connected to the right house. If you need to be down here, get down here quickly.
And for those of you that like, would like to rededicate your life with, to back to Jesus Christ, I need you to say this, this simple prayer. And maybe there's someone out there that is not up here. Say this simple prayer because God can meet you right where you at. Amen? Let's all say this simple prayer together. Say, Dear God, I admit that I am a sinner, that I made some mistakes. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins, all my iniquities, and all my transgression. I repent right now. Thank you for restoring me back into right standing with you. I rededicate, I recommit my life back to you. In Jesus' name, thank you for receiving me today. Give God some praise if you said that. You've just gotten reconnected back with God. All is well. Amen. Your sins are in a sea of forgiveness. You're now saints. Look at somebody say, I'm a saint. I'm a saint. Amen. And the Bible says this. The Bible says that the angels in heaven, they begin to rejoice when one gives their life back to Jesus Christ. So since the angels in heaven are having a Holy Ghost party, rejoicing over them, I believe we now can shout and celebrate what the Lord has done. Come on, give Him praise and give Him glory. Hallelujah. Now, my brother over here said, he said, as soon as I came in this church, I knew that was the house for me. I like a brother like that. Hey, hey brother, don't, it don't have to play around. You ain't got to think long. Let me keep your ticket. I got you, brother. Amen. Well, we welcome you all here. We welcome you all here to Live and Work Christian Center. We welcome you here to Live and Work Christian Center. We welcome you guys here to Live and Work Christian Center. We are super excited to have you connected with us here. We believe that you made a great decision to connect with us here. And most of all, we believe you were led by the Holy Spirit, that nobody pushed you, nobody pumped you up to make that decision. It had to be God that made you make that decision. And if it was God, you just got connected to the right house. Get ready for congregational favor to hit your life. Things are about to turn around in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Can you all give God another shout of praise? Now, this is what I would like for you guys to do. Do you see those, those beautiful ladies right over there that's waving? I need you to go and follow them. They're going to take you in the back to get just a little information from you. And welcome to your next level and make yourself at home. God bless you. Just go right over there. Everyone just follow them. Follow them right there. They're going to take care of you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Bless you, my man. God bless you, precious. Amen. What's up, big man? You all right? Hallelujah. Well, praise the Lord. Are you blessed today? Did you receive something today? Now, I want you to know that was your spiritual food. So just, just, just chew on that for a little while. But, but guess what? We ain't done yet. I got the natural waiting on it. And we put our super on the natural. So we want to invite everyone immediately after we dismiss to go to the Dream Center. There's going to be a great meal provided for you. Uh, so relax and enjoy. If you want to play basketball, shoot basketball. We have the gym open. You can play. We're going to have music pumped up over there. So it's a time of fellowship. Get to connect with one another. Get to know each other. And let's just have some friendly conversation and friendly love across the street in the Dream Center. Amen? Now, Dr. Kathy, anything that you would like to add? And if not, go ahead and bless the food. Um, I think we get about, we good? Next, okay. I think we're good. When we get across the street, they're going to kind of direct us so we can get everybody through and get their meals. And we can start fellowshipping. Amen? Hallelujah. Let's bow our hands. Father God, we thank you for the food that we're about to receive. And Lord, we thank you for the nourishment of our body. We thank you for the spiritual food first, Father. And we thank you that we'll be filled and overflowed in every area of our life. God, you said that you would give provision to us. And Lord, you're getting ready to provide the food that we're going to eat. Lord, and I thank you and I give you all the glory and praise. You bless the cooks. And God, we thank you for it. And we give you the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Amen. Now I need to say something. Yeah. Else. Also, listen. If you need to take the elevator, for those of you that might need to take the elevator down the stairs, if you can't make it, the elevator is right here. You can go out this way. It'll take you to the first floor. You'll be across the street from the ele- uh, from the Dream Center. Also, when Wednesday night midweek service, I need everyone here. It's going to be amazing. So be here on when Wednesday night midweek service. Okay. Bishop made me cook for all of you all. So you have to make sure and be and, and get your food because don't just leave and go home. I had to cook for everybody by myself. That's why I was so tired when I got in here to do praise and worship. So I'm not going to do this again this year. So y'all make sure you get something to eat. And we just thank you and we love all of you so much. Let's just dismiss Father God in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for all that you've done for us today. Father God, we thank you for the souls that came in today, Lord God. To you be all the glory, the praise, and the honor. And Lord God, in the name of Jesus, now we bind all accidents and incidents off of every believer in this house. And I decree and declare that every believer in this house, they shall live and not die and declare the works of the true and living God. Now, you all agree with that? Tell two or three people, I love you. Let's go eat. And God bless you. We'll see you on Wednesday. To stay connected to Pastor Joseph and Kathy Banks and Living Word Christian Center, for in-depth information, please visit our website at www.livingwordcc.org. For the latest working news, events, and information, visit us on Facebook or simply log on to our website. Follow the link. You can also watch other inspirational videos on YouTube. Just visit our website and click on the link. We would like to invite you to join us for any of our services. On Sunday morning, be sure to join us for our main Sunday morning worship service beginning at 10 a.m. And be sure to join us on Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. We invite you to join us at Living Word Christian Center, where we are living by the Word of God.